<laughs> it, it's it's like a little lunch bag. All right, if, you know, if you're looking for a small portable solar panel that's nice, 5.5 pounds, but yeah, check this out. 11.4 by like eight, 11 and a half by eight. And basically inside, <laughs> you can see this thing is like, it's like a big novel. <laughs> it's not a small little book, but I mean, it's pretty small, you know. Obviously this thing will fit in your backpack. And um, so they do give you, well, we'll get to the accessories here in a second. But yeah, let's just kind of uh, fold this thing out. So, you know, you kind of undo the Velcro here. And let's just do it. I mean, I'm doing it one handed here, but yeah, it's going to get pretty big. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, it get, you know, obviously it's going to be the same size as a normal 100 watt panel, you know, once you unfold it. But, you know, you can't fit a, a normal panel in your backpack. And they also gave this thing kind of the other features and specs that you kind of want to always look for in these portable solar panels. You know, it's not just this, you know, party trick of being able to fold up in such a, a small size. No, they gave it the ETFE coating, you know, so that's this coating is far superior to the PET coating. So if you ever see that, you know, you always want to go for ETFE. It's just going to last longer. And generally you will actually get a little bit more power as well because it's just a little bit more transparent. And then, yeah, they even IP67, you know, so obviously the, the panel itself, you can see, you know, with the water kind of beating up there, you know, is waterproof. The connector box on the back, yeah, I mean, it has a little flap, a little like silicone flap over the output ports. You know, obviously when you're outputting power, you're gonna have to undo that. But still, it's, it's in the back, you know, it's going to be kind of underneath the panel, if you will, you know, once, once you have it set up. And you can set this thing up with kickstands. So this is actually, when I first got this panel, honestly, I thought these kickstands were, it was just kind of like a last minute thing to kind of, you know, something that they could just say, you know, and advertise, yes, it comes with kickstands, but they weren't, you know, I didn't think they were really going to work. As you'll see in the video, I was actually pleasantly surprised at how well they actually do work, uh, considering, again, that they come inside the little bag here, you know? <laughs> this is, they're in this little pouch. So, you know, everything in the cable connector as well, we'll get to that, we'll get to that too. All right, and there you go. I mean, actually, it actually wasn't that hard. Um, it actually wasn't, it was a lot easier than I thought it was. You just kind of set it on there, and there are little... It kind of those little kickstands they do kind of flare up at the bottom there so it actually does hold the panel so yeah let's, let's just kind of see what kind of power we're getting with this thing uh, hopefully you guys can see that it's about 59 watts 60 watts and it is like you know hazy today as well too so we're not getting actual you know 100% sun and so for the cable here it, they actually give you this really nice it's all in one so there's MC4 there's Anderson, there's the eight millimeter, and then there's a 5521 as well. Now they don't give you XT60, but the cable itself connects to the solar panel XT60. So if you did have XT60 power station, you know, you just basically get a double ended XT60 uh, cable. And then as you can see here, there it is, it plugs right in there. There is USB output as well. It's not gonna give you, you know, ideal power, but yeah, I mean, if you just want to charge up a phone or something, or maybe even a tablet, um, it would probably work as long as you have full sun. I mean, as I talked about in my videos, the USB outputs on these solar panels, they don't really work that well, or in many cases, they don't work at all if you don't have full sun. And for the specs here, you know, it is kind of a standard solar panel, but the voltage is a little bit higher than normal. So it's actually 24 volts open circuit so that's you know if you have a power station that has a 24 volt cutoff you know it could be iffy of course you know if you can just leave it out in the sun let it kind of heat up a little bit you know if you're having trouble you know getting it to work with your power station if it's cutting out because the voltage is too high yeah that's a trick you know high temperatures heat will actually lower the voltage 
Of course, the opposite is true, right? Cold temperatures will actually increase it. So that's just something you got to note. But yeah, a little trick there. If you do have some, some good sun and it's fairly warm, you know, just allow the panel to heat up for a minute or two before you try connecting it. All right, so let's just wrap this up. I'm going to fold it up here now that it's down on the ground again. You know, it just basically comes up like that. There we, there we go. And then you kind of have to, it likes to fold a certain way here. All right, so there we go. And boom, you know, you, you, got, your lunch, you got your lunch bag with a solar panel in it, right? Of course, you know, hopefully you just kind of found this interesting or helpful and, you know, maybe just something you weren't even aware that that there's a, a 100 watt panel that can be this compact, right? So, yeah, and uh, as I said, you know, thanks, uh, thanks for, thanks for watching.